everyone and welcome back to my channel Simply Maggie where I teach you all things related to yarn whether it's arm knitting, finger crochet, needle knitting and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this cute little holiday garland. It came out so cute. I will be teaching you how to do the tassels, the hat, the pom-pom to create and assemble this garland or some call it bunting. You can also just use the little hat. I have a single hat here. You can just make one and you can use it as like a little keychain or um, just like a single tree ornament, whatever you prefer. And we're gonna go ahead and get right into what you're gonna need for this project. So what we're gonna be using today is US5 knitting needles. I'm using circular. You can use double pointed needles if you want. And then I have this random skein of red yarn that I found in my yarn stash. You can use worsted weight yarn. You can use something a little bigger or smaller than worsted weight. It's really up to you. My little yarn needle that we'll use at the end. Just some worsted acrylic yarn. I got these little wooden beads from Walmart. It comes in a big pack and you get all different sizes. But we're gonna go ahead and get started with knitting the hat. So first you wanna make a slip knot. You wanna make sure you have enough yarn to cast on 25 stitches. You just pinch the two ends together, twist it, and grab the working yarn, which is the yarn attached to the skein. Insert your needle. Oops, there we go. Tighten that up, and we are going to cast on 25 stitches. The slip knot counted as our first stitch, so that's two, three, I have my 25 stitches on my needle. Since I'm using circular needles, I'm gonna to have to use the magic loop method, and I'll show you how to do that. So you just move the stitches to the center of the cable, split them somewhere in half, doesn't have to be perfect, and then pull the cable through. So now your stitches are split in half. You're gonna push them towards the ends of your needles like this. And then what we're gonna do is join in the round. And the way I'm doing this is I have to use my fingers. We're gonna move one stitch from our left needle over to our right needle. You wanna make sure you're moving a stitch from or onto the needle that has these strands on it. So we're gonna take it from this needle Take it right off and put it onto this needle. Whoops, I split it. The next thing to join in the round, you're gonna take the, now it's the second st uh, stitch on this right needle and you're gonna pull it over that stitch that you just moved over and off and that will bind it off and join in the round and then you can just pull on your working yarn to tighten that up. So that's what that looks like now. You are joined in the round. The next thing we're gonna do to use the magic loop method is make sure that these strands are on your back needle, so the needle that's furthest from you. And you're gonna pull the needle all the way through all those stitches. And then you're gonna begin knitting with these two needles, right, like this. We're gonna do knit two, purl two, all the way around. We'll start with knit two. One, two, purl two. And this first row is a little bit tight. It's one, two, so we've knit two, we've purled two, and then we're going to finish this needle here and knit two, purl two, all the way across. 
Now what we're gonna do is, that's gonna be our back needle, and we're gonna pull this one. All these stitches go onto this needle. They're a little bit tight. And then we're gonna take this needle and pull it out. Like that. And now you can knit with these two needles. So my last two stitches on here were two purls. So now I wanna do two knits. Two, and then two purls. One, two, two knits, two purls. Knit two, and purl two. So if you did everything correctly, you should end with two purls. And then we're gonna turn it again, put that needle in the back further away from us, pull this one through, push my tail through so it's out of the way, and push all these stitches onto this needle. All right, so now it looks like this again. And that was row one. We're gonna do that for a total of 24 rows. So we have 23 rows left, and I'll show you how to do one more. So row two, we are gonna pull that back needle out, and we're gonna start with knit two. One, two, purl two. One, two, knit two. Curl two and repeat all the way across. We're gonna turn that so that that needle is further from you. And we're gonna pull the cable through. Put all these stitches back on this needle. Pull these, this needle out. And then begin knitting. Knit two. Curl two and repeat all the way across, knit two. So you need to do 22 more rows, and then I'll show you how to take your hat off of your needles. All right, so I'm working on my last row here, row 24, and we're just gonna finish this up, and I'll show you how to end your hat. All right, so turn that around, push this needle on, or in, I should say. And we're gonna cut our yarn about six inches away from the needles. Grab your needle, um, and we're going to thread this yarn through all the stitches on the needles. You can slide those right off of the knitting needles as you thread it through. Pull that through, and we're gonna do the other one. So you wanna pull this all the way through and get all of those stitches onto this needle. through and then you're gonna pull this tight I'm gonna go through one more here and you're gonna pull it tight to 
cinch it closed. And then I'll go through one more and we'll make a knot to secure it. So you have your little hat. Isn't that cute? I like to fold mine up. So it looks like that. I'm going to um, weave in this tail here from the beginning of the hat. I'm going to weave it into the inside of this fold here. Just through a few stitches. And you won't even see it because you're going to fold your hat. Trim that up. Fold it again. And now I'm going to show you how to make the pom-pom. So for the pom-pom, you will actually need a fork. That's how I like to make mine. And the yarn of your choice. I'm going to use some acrylic worsted weight yarn in the color white. I like to insert the yarn in the middle, hold it with my thumb, and then begin wrapping around. Okay, so I wrap mine around 25 times or around there. I'm going to cut that and hold that in place on your fork. I'm going to cut like a four or five inch piece of yarn. Take this five inch piece of yarn and thread it through the fork. Just push it through on that side of the pom-pom and on this side and we're going to tie a very tight knot before you tie it too tight go ahead and slide that off of your fork place it on a hard surface tighten without breaking your yarn you want to tighten it as much as you can hold that in place and then make another knot to secure it. So you have this here. I'm going to hold it by these two strands and I'm going to cut all the loops all the way around. I think I got them all. Trim it up nice and short so that it looks like this. We have our hat and our pom-pom. I'm going to take my yarn needle, thread that tail, and I'm just going to poke it right through the center of the hat. We're not going to need that. And then we're going to take our pom-pom, thread one end of that through the needle, insert it into one side of the top of the hat, pull it through to the inside, and we're going to take our other strand here, thread it through the needle, poke it right through the other side of the top of the hat, Just kind of flip your hat inside out, Tie a nice knot to secure the pom-pom in place. Okay, I did a double knot. Trim up those pieces. They don't have to be perfect because you're not going to see them. Trim up the red tail. Flip it right side out and shape it as needed. And you have your cute little hat. And now I'm going to show you how to make these tassels if you want to add them to some garland. Okay, so I'm gonna use this notebook here, size reference, this is my hand. 
it's a little bigger than my hand. We are going to wrap our yarn around this notebook, but first cut a four or five inch strand of yarn. You're gonna use that after we start wrapping this around. So hold it in place, kind of near the edge of your notebook. Hold it in place and wrap it around. Six, seven, eight. All right, so I have wrapped mine around 30 times and I'm gonna cut this strand down here. Hold it in place with your finger. You're gonna very carefully slide this off of your book or whatever you're using. And you're gonna take that strand that you had cut before you wrapped the yarn around and you're gonna tie that at the top of your tassel. And then we're going to cut one more strand. We're gonna cut it long enough so that it is longer than the tassel. We're gonna tie it around the tassel where you want it to be cinched in. Nice and tight, double knot. And then I'm just gonna kind of tug on these pieces a bit to kind of make this a little bit puffy. And now we're gonna cut the strand here that we used to tie the cinched part right here. Cut them the length of the tassel and then you're gonna cut through all of these loops at the bottom. So we have kind of a messy tassel here. What I'm gonna do is place it down here. I'm gonna flatten it all out and kind of brush through. Let's see, I missed this one. Brush through a little bit push it down and then we're gonna trim it the length that we want it so I'm gonna cut off about probably about a three-fourths of an inch okay and then that looks much better and then you're just going to attach it to your garland or whatever you're making with these two strands here and the strand of the garland. And that is it. That is how I made all these parts for this garland here, the hat, the tassel, and the pom-pom. And then you just assemble it all and it makes this cute little holiday decor. So I hope that you enjoyed that tutorial and that it was helpful for you. I am going to go find a spot in my home to hang this decor. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. And I will have links for yarn and beads and all that on my website. I will link my website down below, simplymaggie.com. I will see you guys in my next video.